This is a mini series of short videos about plone specific topics. My name is Jens Klein and today I'll talk about searching and organizing content using the catalog. Plone has a built-in full text search. If I enter a phrase here, I get an in immediately a result after typing four letters. If I press enter, I get a list of search results and I can filter the results here depending on item type, um, time range. I can sort them after the date of publication or alphabetically. There is also an RSS feed of all searched content available. A power feature of Plone are the collections. A collection is a stored search with stored criteria and it shows the results as a list which is configurable. Let's have a look. I can add here a new collection and let's say we want to get all news items that are available in the site. News list. Below here we can select the criteria. This means I can search for some kind of content. I can search for the creator of the content, I can search in the location or for the type of the content. Now let's search for news items. I can select here to only find news items and get a preview of 10 items below here. I can add other criteria like a searchable text like above in the search field or also after for, for some dates like content created in the last week and so on. But now let's have only one term and we can sort it like after effective date in reversed order. Below I can also limit the search results, uh, configure how many will show up in one batch and if we have a table view we can show all this data as a table and configure the table columns. Also, we can add some text here. Now I have the normal listing view, but I can select here also the tabular view and then I get the selected columns. This is the default behavior of Plone. So this can all be customized for the specific projects Plone is used in. The listings can be modified, the criteria can be modified, there can be criteria added for custom content types and so on. But let's have a look behind the scenes. In the SOAP management interface, there is one object called Portal Catalog. It indexes all content in the site as the description. If you look at the catalog, we'll find a tab catalog here where we see all indexed objects. In this small demo database, it's 10 records and there are also my three news items cataloged. If you look deeper into one item, we can see here the cataloged record of this content object. It consists out of two parts, the metadata contents, which is used on display time in the lists. It's all the data that can be shown in the list without loading the real content from the database. And below the index contents, which is the data you can search for. Here it's like the creator was the administrator. So if you search for creator equals admin, this data is searched. The date is converted into an integer value and can be searched. There was no description, but there is a searchable text, which consists out of title, description and the text field. And all terms are in there, that in, are in this uh, three fields. So if you search for lost, this item would be found. The subject is catalogued, you can search for news items, there's a new ID you can look up the object with, and even the roles and users that are allowed to view the items is indexed. There are more dates, 
and below there are some internals like even the interfaces the object provides are indexed which can be very helpful if you are a programmer and on a programmatical level are looking for different content in the site. The path is indexed so you can search for content that is only in the news folder, the portal type we searched for and other data. As you can imagine this is a powerful tool. So you can add new indexes, add new metadata to your um, catalog, also have custom types with custom fields which are then cataloged and indexed and you can search for this. Like if you have a product catalog you can search for a product number or something like that. You can also add new criteria for the collections and most of this is configurable with XML files. So it's not that difficult. As an integrator you can do this. So this is a very powerful tool and I'll end this part of the mini-series and the next one goes a bit deeper than now.